And welcome, everybody, to another episode of Who's Got Clout? As we explore the many amazing creators of DSO, we should call it now, uh, what many know as BitClout and are starting to know as Diamond App and many other names out there on the platform. So welcome to Clout Forum. This is a place where we give space to explore all the different aspects of that. It's brought to you by the incredible Alex Roken. You can find him on BitClout or any other DSO platform under Alex Roken, A-L-E-X-R-O-K-I-N. And he's tuning in from Russia and I'm Mark Bentley tuning in from West Australia. And we have a very special guest today who I would love to invite to... Um, Join us now. It is the incredible Zuby. So Zuby, known on the platform as Zuby, also uh, goes by Sarah Ahmed is the name behind that that uh, handle. But we still fondly know her as Zuby. Welcome, Zuby. How are you doing? Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having. Thank you for finding me worthy for, for uh, to be a part of Cloud Forum. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for having me too. <laughs> Zuby, I, I love your humbleness, but it's, you know, you, you are one of the most active, engaged creators on here. You, you've contributed so much to the platform. And in fact, before we even go further, Zuby, I just want to read out what um, we've got here that people would have seen on the profile, just to give some context of, of uh -huh. your background a little bit and the rest. So let's, let's, let's read this out loud to make sure anyone who doesn't know who you are is brought into alignment before we start our little conversation. So Zuby is one of the most active contributors on DSO, and I'll attest for that. She supports in investing into female creators on the platform by managing the Miss Creator Fund under the guidance of Mario Norfolk and Goat Trade. We've had Mario Norfolk on this platform, and he's an incredible man, and uh, you're doing amazing things with that. So under Miss Creator Fund project, Zuby also organizes awesome sessions for com community members to let them learn tips, tricks, and things on different topics, which I'm blessed to have been invited on Zuby. So thank you for that. And uh, being a multifaceted person, she is under 30 entrepreneur, a digital marketing specialist, graphic designer, hotelier, manager of Miss Creative Fund on BitCloud, and more than anything, a mother of four boys on top uh -huh. of all of that. So Zuby, first of all, most important yeah. question, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, when we had a session with Miss Creator Fund, I'm so sorry, but I was a little low under the weather and I wasn't yeah. able to interact with you all much. But uh, the introduction was amazing. Thank you so much, Mark. It was just mm -hmm. uh, out of the world, I can say. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you have just been very nice. good to me from the time I've joined. <laughs> thank you so much. So let's let's jump straight into it. So. Zuby, when, when we met, it uh -huh. was through some comments on, on BitCloud way back in the beginning. Yeah. What Before we even get into that, what, how did you come into BitCloud? What, what was your kind of origin story and how did you discover it? So uh, most of you might know Vaib Ali. Vaib Ali, Vaib Ali is my husband. And uh, he one day was on Clubhouse in a Clubhouse room. 
where they were talking about NFTs. And then he got to, got to know about BitCloud. And when he uh, got in touch with Manu, I don't know how many of you all know about Manu, but Manu is a very kind person and uh, another dear friend to us. Uh, he was the one who shared uh, the details about BitCloud. And I wasn't interested at all. Even though I'm into digital media marketing, I wasn't interested in BitCloud at all. And uh, I, I had just given birth to my uh, fourth baby. Uh, mm -hmm. It was just uh, nine days old. And uh, when he came up to me and said, you need to figure out, you need to explore BitCloud. BitCloud is something different. Why don't you get into it? I was not sure. And I frowned my uh, face and I told him that hey, this is not going to happen because I just came out of so much pain and I'm so much in pain and don't get sleep. Mm -hmm. And you're asking me to do so much. Another platform, all of a sudden, from nowhere. And then he says, no, this is completely different. And when I got onto BitCloud, uh, day one, I couldn't sleep. It was 2 a.m. And I was constantly reading people, everyone's posts and interacting with them. Day two, it was the same thing. Then I realized it might be, uh, I might be getting into that zone where you watch all these uh, web series and you do not want to sleep. You want to finish mm -hmm. the entire series. And uh, day three was the introduction of Mark Bentley. So when I was... <laughs> day three. Uh, <laughs> So when I was under the assumption, okay, fine, this is just another platform. Mark comes in from nowhere and uh, like an angel, a guardian angel, I can say. He comes into BitCloud uh, and uh, comes to my profile, texts me and messages me and, give, and throws a challenge in front of me saying that, uh, <laughs> why don't you make your coin price $100? I was like, this is impossible. From past two days, I'm just get receiving diamonds and no one's even investing in me. How is it possible? He's like, that is a challenge. Why don't you show that? Why don't you show people that you're worthy? And I had no idea how to do it. Mark just gave me this idea and Mark was constantly checking on me the entire week. He kept telling me that, see, your number has gone on to so-and-so. This is your coin price. And that was like a war for me. It was like standing on a war field with a armor and saying that, okay, fine, just charge. Let's see who invests in me. <laughs> <clears throat> but that was really interesting. I met a lot of people in that time. The challenge was so good that I interacted mm. with multiple people, multiple people and received many diamonds and diamonds that time was it was just flowing in. And these days, diamonds do not flow in so as much as it used to happen earlier. And uh, <clears throat> because of Mark, I am a part of Miss Creator Fund. I am still on BitCloud. I haven't missed a single day on BitCloud. And if it wasn't for Mark, I would have left a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zuby, it's, it's, it's actually really cool hearing a bit more of that story. You know, it's it's... Because from my side, it's, it's, it's one of these things where, you know, it's something that I don't go looking for people. I don't go like, you know, I trust, you know, I, I live my life through synchronicity, you know, trusting in the divine, you know, just kind of trusting that instinctual part of my heart that sometimes I just see somebody and it's, it's almost like you light up. And I'm not even thinking when I'm writing that comment, I'm, I'm really just inspired by your presence by in, for some reason. And so so it's been a lot of fun for me as well to, to, to watch your journey and just go, wow. And, you know, I had no idea that um, that comment and those comments actually yeah. played such a big part in, in your journey. And so it's, yeah. So it's been really beautiful to hear that story. It and is. so, I mean, th this is something that, you know, hopefully people that are new to BitCloud are watching this and, and hearing this story, right? And those, and also the OGs, you know, the people that have been around for a while, because I think you and I sitting here right now having this conversation really demonstrates it doesn't take huge efforts. It doesn't take huge kinds of things, but rather just the right comment at the right time can really inspire someone and change their yes. lives by just coming from the heart, right? Yes. Mm. Uh, when yeah. I started Miss Creator Fund, <clears throat> uh, my only objective was to look out for people who cron prices were really low and I know how it feels because it took me a, lo a lot of time when I when you had thrown a challenge in front of me I just went till 80 dollars 
And when I touched 100, there was someone who sold my coin. I was like, what is happening? I just completed my challenge. And this is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Mark, I just did it. And you were said, yes, I know. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can see it. And <clears throat> we took so much of effort to even interact with people, to talk to them, to understand each other, to make friends, mm. which is, I mm. think, has become easier now. And people don't really, don't really want to do that. They need fame immediately once they come. They do not want to go through that road or that journey that we were a part of. We built mm. over a period of time. We, we interacted. We made friends. And now, BitLove is more than family. I don't even want to look at Instagram. I don't even want to look at Facebook. And I have so many notifications. And BitCloud, I don't even have a single notification because I'm constant on BitCloud. Yeah. So... <laughs> I mean, that says a lot because, I mean, I assume from, from your background, you'd spend, did you spend a fair bit of time on the, the old legacy kind of like Facebook, oh, yes. Instagram? Yes. Yeah. I, digital marketing is my forte. That is what I do. Mm. I'm a professional and that is what I do for my clients. And now when my clients are talking about digital marketing, I, it, just, it just rings a bell saying that, boss, you need to come on to BitCloud. I don't think so. This is going to work for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram and Facebook is not going to work because this is a very sophisticated platform. BitCloud is a very sophisticated platform. Here we do not have people where they come up to us and say follow for follow, um, like for like. That's, that's something very mm. nice. And the mindset of everyone here is a millionaire's mindset. No one talks mm. about anything else but a lot of technicals, making, uh, creating projects. Uh, building a lot of different things this is what i want this is what i look forward to because this mm. why are why are we uh why do we look for look for product platforms it is to learn give and to spread so that is mm. all we need to do amazing and so you're finding and and i mean <laughs> it's a question that's really pointless to ask because like you really you just shared right now that the, the environment here on BitCloud really has been kind of encouraging for positive connection, hasn't it? It's yes. like, I've been blown away. I went on, I, I started up a Facebook account, Zuby, because I, I deleted mine after a couple of months. because I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm done as well. And then I kind of, I had to start it just to access some groups that I needed for something else. And I remember going on and not one bone in my body liked it. It was like, I have it on my phone and even just having the app on my phone kind of gives me twitches sometimes that I think I have to delete it. And I remember going in after having six months on, on BitCloud, going into, into Facebook land and just kind of like, oh, watching my whole body cringe and just not want to even be there. And, and I thought, if there's a sign that we're onto something pretty, pretty amazing with DSO and BitCloud and all the other parts, <laughs> that's it right there, right? You know, when you want to be on the platform. Yes, absolutely. So, so Zubi, um, I want to ask you as well, like while we're on this topic, you know, what would you say to those people? You know, what do you say to those people that you communicate with that are new to the platform? Because as you say, you're often working with, with people with the lower coin prices. You know, what, what's, what's some of the encouragement that you would give them and, and tips? For me, I don't think so anyone who comes into BitCloud should worry about the coin price. Coin price shouldn't worry, shouldn't even go, go to that extent saying that it's because of my coin price, I'm not going to interact with you. Coin price has come low. That is why I am depressed today. I do not want to even mm. get into BitCloud. It shouldn't worry anyone. The reason why I invested in a lot of people and a lot of female creators is that I want to hold on to their coins. They shouldn't worry about their coin price and they can just go all out and do whatever they feel like without even a worry. Think, thinking that if, if someone else invests, someone else is going to just sell and get out. No, I am there. Miss Creator Fund is there. We will hold your coins as, we are just going to come here, come here to support you. We are going to hold your coins so that you can concentrate on what you want to do. You can show us your talent. You can be creative. Do not worry about your coin price. Coin price is just, I don't, I don't understand why, why everyone's even worried about a coin price. When I 
started with Creative Fund. My coin price was $38. And $38 for someone starting this Creative Fund or being a manager, I didn't feel ashamed at all. I knew my potential. Money will not, um, sorry, the coin price will not uh, let me come down with what I'm going to do or degrade me on something or say that, oh, you're not enough. I know my potential. Let's do it. Today or some other day, every time there was someone who sent, you know, sent me a follow request or followed me, I was like, oh, God. They followed me. It was like, like the day I told you, the day I met Mark Bentley on uh, Natch Average, I was like, oh my God, if Na Tom Cruise would have been there, should I, would, I, would I be the same way? Would, would, my exp uh, would my expressions be the same way? So it was like that. When I met Mark on uh, Natch Average, I was like, wow, I met the hero. So this is how we need to make our connections not bother right. about our coin prices. Because of our coin prices, because there's no interaction, a lot of celebrities came and went. There are a lot of reserved accounts, a lot of uh, accounts that are just, and they're not active at all. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, 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 it's you know, the reason I was laughing before, I, I, I'm, it just, every time you talk about it, it just blows my <laughs> mind at the, the, the wild, wonderful world that we live in, in all its crazy, zany things, you know, and, and, you know, it's, it's the first time I think I've loved hearing that kind of compliment. Cause before I, I used to have a hard time taking compliments and things. I didn't feel like I deserved them. But one of the things when you say it, and it hits me right in the heartstrings and it makes me feel really special. And because it was something that it, it isn't for, like you say, being Tom Cruise on a big Hollywood movie or something, yeah. but, you know, you're, you're holding me in high regard for genuine connection and, and humanity. And, and that is the one thing I would love to be known for. And so that, that's, that's really special. And for those that are watching, you know, for, if you're watching this, you know, obviously you are, if you're listening, <laughs> then, um, you know, I, when I came onto the platform, I, I made the point, Zuby, of coming on and not bringing any of my history with me. So I had, I didn't have a huge following on Facebook, but I had about 9,000, but they were actually fairly dedicated 9,000 followers because of the work I do in, um, you know, human development and different things. So I, was, I had quite a following, but I wanted to come into BitCloud and I wanted to just be myself because a bit like you've already touched on with the creators you bring on. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't worry about your coin price. Just be yourself. Yeah. I found Facebook. I'd become too much of, you know, what everyone wanted from me instead of what I wanted to give. And so when I came to, to DSO, to BitCloud, I didn't tell anyone my background. I didn't bring on any of my community. I came in and just thought, I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to be, I can be a bit crazy at times. I can be zany, hyper positive, you know, all those different things. And, and then watched what happened. And then here we are with you recognizing me, giving me so much love. And I did that from scratch, from just engaging, jumping on Nacho Average. I remember when we met the first time, I always remember that, um, talking to Vibe Ali, and then you jumped into the camera. Oh. You know, we, we, we made the effort to meet people just yes. like you do in real life, right? So anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. It, it, is, it is possible. If you want to do mm. it, you will do it. That is, that is said. Yeah. I, I, I am from a very orth, um, orthodox Muslim family. And uh, we are not even allowed to talk to men. So wow. I, came out, I came out from that family, married Ali. Ali is from an events background where he is amongst a lot of youngsters, men and women. And my hands literally used to shiver when I used to talk to men. And I wow. couldn't even look into their eyes. And the transformation that I made from the age of 21, because I had my first kid at the age of 21, and till now, till date, till the age of 29, I've gone through a phase where I learned with life. The entire life was a, a complete study for us. It was a life study. When people say that we've done so many years and now we know how can you even talk to us that whether we know about uh, life or not. 
even youngsters go through it it's not mm. necessary that people who are old go through it and they know better than us no even youngsters go through it as a family we are a nuclear family we don't even talk to each other's extended families so uh, we have built a life from scratch to scratch proof mm. be it with our kids everything and uh, that is how i feel for everyone i feel for uh, all the people at bit cloud when i see them growing when i see any comment especially if um, i i don't remember who this is agustino he comes up with good morning millionaires that is an amazing way to start your day and i get so <laughs> excited when i see his post every day i keep telling him buddy this is the post that makes me excited even though uh, bit cloud is like therapy to me it's it's therapy even though i have a bad day uh, i have a headache i'm i'm not in a good mood i get into bit cloud and i'm wow everything just vanishes mm. so bit cloud has that power i i don't know what kind of power but it does have a power mm that's and i think it's um augustine uh, is it augustine dino olmed men so. yes. sorry augustine the i, I yes. sabotage we know who school. he is yes he's always yeah. in school keeps uh, updating on bitcloud and worries about why isn't his school getting over so yeah <laughs> <laughs> from argentina yes i was um commenting on his just the other day yeah and i think alex we better get him on if you can <laughs> um you know he was apparently i believe part of uh the the crew with Clay Perry Clay Perry music that kind of started up Nacho okay. Average I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. he was part of the early early crew there so isn't that amazing even these youngsters that are that yes. are really just influencing like this yeah. is real influences right yeah real really influencing. really influencing these are influences yeah. yeah it's 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 almost like we need to reclaim that word you know because when people say oh you're an influencer most of us are like oh, i don't want to be that don't call me that and it's like no 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 in, being an influencer is great influence positive things influence yes. great things success and magic and all the rest and i think we need to reclaim that word now because uh we can't let facebook and instagram keep it <laughs> oh yeah influencers do not really mean please go thank you influences do not really mean uh i'm so sorry no absolutely they're all welcome hey you know it would be this this is something that also makes you so very special is you know it's not just the love uh, that you give to the platform but that you've also at the same time you're nurturing and giving love to these beautiful children you know this incredible husband of yours and and you guys are doing it you know as this unit we do not so consider really our that. kids our family as a uh what do you say is a it's a burden yes mm. they're not a burden to us we very happily take care of them they came in our lives for a reason and we will take care of you and when it's time you enjoy we enjoy and mm. uh, there's i have no shame to be it in public be it anywhere my kids come in they talk to anyone they say anything i have no um uh, shame at all they are our kids yeah. they are the future if i mm. feel ashamed today they will feel ashamed or they might continue doing the same thing over the period of years so if i have a frowning face when i wake up in the morning or i get grumpy and keep yelling at them they will do the same thing and the next generation and the eighth generation after them is going to curse me not them <laughs> and i want to live a happy life <laughs> no it's incredible it's, it's it's incredible to see you know you're very authentic you're very genuine in the way you bring yourself to the table and and that that that's the kind of positivity i think that really makes change in the world is you know because i've seen um just recently there was someone that was not so happy with big cloud you know i think a lot of the time those that aren't happy it's is because of like you say that they get caught up in coin price how come they've got coin price i don't how come they're verified and not not how come you know and this real victim mindset that kind of kicks in and then i can understand it and i remember i posted something just a, just a positive line with an image and, and it was just an inspirational thought that popped in my head and i just shared it out there and i saw some people getting really triggered you know with 
with, you know, oh, everyone's so positive on here. Everyone's so as if that's a bad thing. And it made me kind of wonder, you know, it's like, well, what are you looking for? What are you trying to find? Are you trying to find a fight? In which case, go to Twitter. There's plenty of resources, you know. So I feel like that positivity is really beautiful. Yeah, that so now with that being said, went through you. Yes. You were, a, <laughs> you were a magnet of positivity that came into my life on BitCloud. Uh, it, well, it's like they say, be the change you want to see in the world, right? That's true. And, and we're seeing this all around us. So with all the positivity of, of the journey, have you had some challenges along the way? Have you had any? any in, yeah. You're talking about BitCloud or you're talking about my personal life? Well, we, think, we, we can touch on both, but I was thinking with BitCloud. Yeah. Okay. So um, on BitCloud, I did, uh, not in the initial days, but when I became a part of this creative fund, yes. So not a lot of them appreciated the fact that uh, we were there to help women. And a lot of them even got in touch with me saying that if you all invest in us, there won't be anyone else investing in us. So if Miss Creative Fund invests in us, we will not have any other male creator who will invest in us because under the, under the assumption that Miss Creative Fund is investing heavily and we will not invest in you, which was a wrong assumption. Because after I got these uh, comments, after I got these messages, I kept a track on the people or the creators that I invested in. And whenever we invested in any other creator, they got huge investments. Mm. They got huge investments, even later. Or if I give them a timeline of 24 hours saying that this artist or this creator is going to be invested in another 24 hours, the artist gets back to me saying that I've never received investments like these. Oh, so uh, that is a complete uh, game changer but not all like the fact they even had a problem with me when I called them girls they even had a problem with every word I used so um, I was I was calm because I knew this was coming because mm -hmm. before I started Miss Creative Fund I had a call with Raj Lahuti and oh, Raj nice. told me uh Zubi, before starting this, uh, I would like to say something about myself. And we were on a video call and Raj told me that uh, I've gone through different phases and I've been told by a lot of people and blamed for a lot of things. Will you be able to take it? I don't think so, you will. I said, Raj, I might not, be, uh, might not look like a strong personality, but I am quite a headstrong person. So mm -hmm. I am ready for this. And he told me, okay, day, day one after the first investment in Miss Creator Fund, after I got a lot of hatred messages as well, I was like, oh my God, Raj, you were right. <laughs> this is not easy. This mm -hmm. is a huge challenge coming up. I didn't lose hope. I could have easily said, okay, fine. I'm just not going to do this. Get someone in. But this was my project. This was my idea. This is what I wanted to do. This is what I'm going to do. Come up with your, I, come up with your ideas. I will support you. Come up with your projects. I will support you. You do not have to put my name, nor Miss Creator Fund's name. We will be there for you. That is all we told them. But yet, even then, people said, there were a lot. There were a lot. And till date, they are still, we still have a lot of criticisms having, but we want to do good, I'm sure. There will be an opportunity for Miss Creative Fund or Zubi to even be a part of their journey. And I hope they understand that we are not here to do bad. We are here to do good. Oh, it's, it's even as you share that, Zubi, it just, it, it tugs on the strings a bit and it kind of, um, it almost stirs up this kind of protector in me that wants to go, oi! <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's, and it's, it's something I've been thinking about a lot, you know, because for, for, for most of my life, I've been really, really focused on, on the human spirit and, and really aware of how much we're being oppressed in our expressions and restricted within society, self-oppressed in many ways, you know, in that sense. And, and been watching how this victim mindset has been almost breeding out there in the world, you know, that 
no matter what everyone says, why not this? Why not that? You know, where's my investments? Where's my this? But then if you try to give it, then there's also a, oh, but I don't want to like that or I don't want to. And it's become to this point where it's like, I'm not sure how to help you. You know, for some people, it's, it's, it's very challenging because no matter what you do, especially this early on a platform like DSO, where it, people still, I think, just haven't comprehended how early we are, right? And they haven't had that experience before. So mistakes will happen, things will happen, and you know we're constantly experimenting, and and it's it's amazing to watch how quick people are to pull the dagger, you know, yes. and and get defensive. Yet what you've been doing is is you know putting yourself on the line. They often don't realize that behind Miss Creator Fund is this incredibly empowered woman, mother of four, husband of <laughs> Bye Bye Lee, one of my favorites. I love the guy, and it's like such a powerful beautiful woman and you have feelings you know and it'll be nice to be respectful you know maybe ask you first before throwing the harsh words and things and so if anyone's watching please be a little more gentle on the platform maybe send a message and just ask if what you think is correct first and maybe they can help you understand better you know but yeah so that's i just really wanted to acknowledge Zuby, that that you've really touched on something and your courage to continue is admirable it is truly admirable and we really appreciate it. So, so Zubi, how, how, how did that actually come about? What was the inspiration that started up Miss Creator Fund and, and your connection with, um, with those crew? Um, so what happened with Miss Creator Fund was a very funny thing when uh, DSO, earlier called as a cloud, was coming down. So people were more worried about the coin prices. And uh, I was attending a lot of clubhouse rooms where people were only talking about women uh, their coin prices being so undervalued and not men. And uh, a lot of women were worried because their coin prices were coming up to $28, $15, even, even $16. And they even had a blue tick. Uh, mm. They were so worried. They didn't want to continue on the platform. They just want to leave. And uh, when I heard this, I came up with a uh, plan and I discussed this with Vaiba Wali. And he told me that, why don't you discuss this with uh, Goat, Eric? And let's see what happens. So uh, Mario, Mario is such a kind person who listens to our projects. If he finds potential, he says, go ahead. Don't even ask me for the second time. So uh, he was so kind that I pitched him about Miss Creator Fund only a day in advance. And uh, he told me the plan is good. What do you want to do? I said, I have the names. I've done a background check. And if, if everyone thinks that it is easy to run an investing uh, platform, it is not. It is not. Mm. You have to go for background checks. You need to go text them on their other social media platforms, asking whether they are the actual ones here. Then uh, finding their out, finding them out, and even thinking that if we invest in them, how much are we going to get in returns? That is not we look at. That is not that we look at. We are looking at holding as maximum number of coins. Even if someone comes and goes under your profile, your coin price will not be affected. So that is what we look, and that is the reason why. Uh, if you all have noticed that Creator Fund uh, and Miss Creator Fund is holding your coin price, we are standing second in your cap table, in your uh, creator coin table, so that if anything happens, we are there. You don't have to worry about it or stop your work and get disturbed. So I uh, thought of something like saying, I, I, I came up with another idea saying that I want to do mass investments. I do not want to do one investment, one hour later, another investment, another hour later, a third investment. I had the names, I had uh, everything in my records. And I told Goat, uh, that's Eric, uh, can I start investing? And he said, yes, I'm sending the amount. He sends the amount and the clouds. And I went bang on day one. And the only thing that we had written on our bio was Christmas is early for y'all. Uh, <laughs> let's celebrate. And uh, the first day was people didn't expect it. Second day was even more crazy because people were ready and I had 
DMs and overflowing DMs that I have never ever had in the past 30 to 60 days uh, that said, um, can you get go, go through my profile? Please look at my profile. And there were so many new faces. Where were y'all? We didn't even know where you were because you're not active, not interacting with anyone. So I had my first clause before investing. Are you guys going to interact? They said, yes, we will. I said, I will invest in you. And honestly, these creators who I've invested in, they are so active on BitCloud right now. It's value for money. I do not want the mm. returns. This is what we were looking for. We wanted uh, people to get uh, activated. And we indirectly activated many people, many female creators. And a lot of creators, not only female creators, the other creators came up to me and said that, why don't you have something for the men? What did the men do to you? And we were like, no, <laughs> this is only for the female creators. So let me just concentrate there. So Brutal was a very different kind of an experience that I had when uh, I had invested in Brutal and Brutal went crazy. And all these female creators were very, very generous with their words, very grateful. That gratitude was very big for me. And I cried out when I was talking to uh, Mario and uh, Goat, saying that uh, they were, when we were talking about our daily uh, progress, I had tears in my eyes saying that these guys are way too grateful. This gratitude is just too much for me. So this is what happened. And I don't want to stop. This is what I am looking for. That's incredible. Yeah. And so you're saying that the, the, the goal of the fund is really to generate and support the engagement as opposed to focusing on when can we sell and pull profits. No. Is that correct? We, we are not looking at selling and pulling profits, but we are looking at people getting active and understanding the platform because this platform, I don't, I don't know with, whether everyone understands or not, but this platform is for everybody, all the creators, because this is a creator's platform. These, here you can be real. On BitCloud, you can be real. You can cry your heart out. You can talk your sorrows. Mm -hmm. You can talk about your bad days. You can talk about your affirmations. You can talk about a lot more things. Other places, people judge you. Other platforms, yeah. there's so many people who judge you. Mm. absolutely they do yeah and, and like you say it's it's on facebook and instagram and all these things you see people all you know in a sense posing you know and 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 i think we've all done it in our own ways because it's 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 not really it doesn't feel like a safe place and and that's that has been a beautiful thing to feel like you can be real here you know and uh you know i want to kind of bring awareness to this like for everyone watching this you know I see time and again, so many people posting about what the developers should be fixing, you know, about Nader, what he should be fixing or, or the core team and, and, and saying, this isn't good enough. That's not good enough. And of course the feedback is important. And I think Nader and the team take it so gracefully Very because, yes. right. And not, not only one they, person, but everybody's yes. Yeah. Cause that, that, that can be like you've experienced it can be brutal feedback, right? And, but I think what a lot of them forget is their job is only one half, not even one half, really. It's like the developers and everyone out there, they've got one job, which is to create the framework. But we can't sit there and say, build this, do that, do this, and just sit back and just watch. It's like we, as creators on the platform, as influencers, whatever you want to think about it, we have the biggest job, right? We have the biggest job and it, it, more than worrying about what they're doing or not doing, engaging and creating content and engaging on other, being generous in, with our attention, right? You know, just like how we met is and how you're now passing on is giving that time. Because like you say, it's not easy to check all those things, the background checks and the rest. And, you know, it's to be generous with our time and our, our awareness to engage because engagement is what drives the value of diesel up. So you want a higher coin price, just worry about engagement, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. 
No, that's absolutely, yeah. It's 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 amazing talking to you, Zuby, because uh, I mean, and and by the way, for everyone, I don't think I mentioned in the beginning, you're based in India, right? I am, yes. So uh, that's yeah. another story of- behind that. So yeah. uh, when I joined BitCloud uh, day one, uh, when people asked me, where are you from? I said, India. Oh, India, too many rug pulls. We don't want to even invest in your coin. I was like, I just what? came. Too many rug pulls. And we don't want to in- invest in your coin. I was like, this is- I just entered BitCloud. You can't talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so disheartened. And I was like, this is not happening to me. If no one wants to invest in my coin, uh, it's not going to be easy. Now we have uh, the creator fund, uh, we have the creator fund ICO, we have this creator fund where we are investing in new creators. We are giving them an amount and asking them to explore. We are, we are guiding them. We are teaching them. We are there to their journey. We built our coin price from scratch and we even had a lot of comments coming through saying that you are from India. No. I still say Mark, I'm a part of Miss Creator Fund. I'm a part of Everything Zuby is because of Mark. It wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Mark. I would have left long time ago. If I, I wouldn't mm. have fought that battle in the initial days, I wouldn't have been able to take anything that came via miscreator fund. The comments, the brutal uh, messages, and all sorts of things. I wouldn't have been able to take it when I, if I wouldn't have been standing there during my initial days on BitCloud without your support. It was only because of the support of a brother from Perth, Australia, who came from nowhere like a guardian angel and said, yes, there is potential in you, continue doing it. Mm. And now you continue to carry on the legacy and, yes. and, and do the same and for so many. And support the same thing. What Mark did to me, I want to do the same thing and pass on and request the others who, have, who I have been a part of their lives to do the same thing and continue the chain. Mm. And, and I think that's, that's, that's very touching to, to hear that. And, and if nothing else from our conversation, you know, for those watching, you know, really this, it's, it's so simple, you know, it's so simple. It's like, you know, to, to really just give a little bit of love, you know, it is. Yes. So my dear, I could talk to you for hours on end and I'm looking forward to talking to you for hours on end as, as the years go on. Cause I think we're going to be friends for a long, long, long time. And I look forward oh, to yes. celebrating our success all together uh-huh. as we go forwards. Um, Alex has a few questions for you and he likes to ask some fun journeys and different things. Um, so Alex, are you still with us? And did you want to jump on? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be my pleasure to join your conversation. So thank you, Mark, for giving me a floor. Zubi, I have a few questions. Uh, some of them are about BitCloud and some of them are just about your personal preferences and etc. So okay. my first, yeah, my first question is, uh, what's the most painful and exciting moment for you in the journey on Diesel? My painful moment on joining Diesel was when people told me you're an Indian and we will not invest in you. <laughs> Exciting. When Mark through the challenge, yes. <laughs> you still there, Alex? We might have lost Alex. I think so, yeah. His connection could be a bit dodgy at times. Yeah. Oh, there he is. We've got you. Next question, Alex. Okay. So uh, what do you expect from DSO in a year from now? I think DSO is going to blow in another few months uh, where people might think they might not, but uh, DSO is actually going to blow in another few months. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, how would you describe a person in a one word? The first okay. one, okay. Mark Bentley. Oh, Tom Cruise, yes. <laughs> Do you know, Zuby, it's funny you say that because before I became a father, I was actually a professional performing bartender. 
just like oh. Tom Cruise in cocktail. I used to flip all the bottles and make cocktails. I didn't know that. So. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So you you were onto the you're onto the right vibe. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Back to you. Yeah, it's fine, Mark. No, no. it's interesting to know that. Uh, I didn't know about it, and it's it's all you know. Every time when we have a, a podcast, uh, I learn something new about you, something exciting, and thank you for sharing it. So the next person to describe in one word is Maria Novel. Uh, a woman's person, a woman's man. He's he's a very intellectual person. Yes, but a woman's man, but bachata. Yes. So intelligence, right? Intelligence. That's right. Awesome. Go to trade. Go trade. More than intelligence. Uh, I think you need to choose another one. Oh, uh, why is knowledgeable? Knowledgeable. Oh, yeah. awesome. Uh, Rush Lahudi. I'm sorry. Rush Lahudi. Raj Lahudi, uh, yeah. a very kind man, very kind, generous. Awesome, generous. And why Bali? Why Bali, my love? <laughs> Thank you so much. So, Thanks. last two questions is about food because I really felt uh, uh, fell in love with Indian food. And okay. what dish do you cook to celebrate birthday in your family, uh, one of your family members? I usually don't cook. I don't like cooking, but because of the pandemic, we started cooking. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so but I think I mean, uh, the favorite dish you you put on the table. It's 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 beef biryani, yes. Awesome. What is I'm your favorite dish, Alex? Uh, it's it's hard to tell. I I love all spicy food, and I have a friend who uh, brings me into Indian restaurant, and he he orders something. <laughs> I just eat, and I love it. Wow, that's nice. So, um, the last uh -huh. one. So we, we know there is a Hollywood in USA and there is a Bollywood in India. So mm -hmm. what Bollywood movie everyone should watch? Uh, in Bollywood? Yeah. Uh, Bollywood movie, uh, KGF. Uh, well, could you say uh, a few words about, no, I mean, could you tell a few words about the movie? Why we should watch it? Why is a it's a very empowering movie. So uh, where this person is uh, from a very uh, poor background, and his mother passes away, and there are a few quotes where the mother tells him, and he remembers over a period of time, and he becomes so powerful. Where there is um, <clears throat> what do you say? Uh, everyone, everyone loves him. They call him a villain, but he's not villain. He's a people's person and he does a lot for them. And um, where, the, where even the ministers and the politicians are scared of him. He becomes so big over the period of time. And uh, he still does a lot for the, for the poor, poor people, for, the, for everyone. So that is an amazing thing that inspires me. And I can watch that every time. And every time I watch, I find some new dialogue or the other, which I miss, I think, because I don't watch it properly. But uh, yes, that is an amazing movie. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing it. Alex. Mark, please. Hey, Alex. Thank you, man. I always love your questions. And Zubi, you did well. You passed Thank with you. flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have a very special guest who has come in and would like to ask you a question, Zubi. Uh -huh. This special guest, I believe, is tuning in from, was it Dubai? But I'm going to let him say it himself. Vai Bali, would you like to <laughs> unmute yourself and ask the question of your beautiful wife? This was unexpected. And let, let's get you on the spotlight. Hey guys, how are you? How are you doing? Sorry about the noise. I am in the Dubai Metro. 
We, we can't hear the background noise, Ali, yes. but it does cut a little bit. But you, you're sounding good, my friend. And you're looking sexy, man. <laughs> no problem. Welcome. So what's your question for this lovely lady? Yes. Um, well, first thing, I want to compliment this lovely lady that I think she's doing a fabulous job. I'm a big fan of hers. I take this um, uh, platform of, of yours and I want to convey that I'm uh, her biggest fan. And I don't say that because she's my wife, but I say that because uh, the kind of stuff that she's handled and the way she's been going, kudos to her. Though I can't see her, I can I can only see you. I really want to see her expressions right now. But Is that better? Tara, can you speak something so maybe it'll, it'll highlight on you? Oh, that that's you wonderful, know? Ali. I didn't expect this. Mark, Mark had to Mark. off his camera. Um, okay. <laughs> Mark told me that uh, there's someone from Dubai. I expected it might be you, but uh, I didn't really think because you were in another event. So I was hoping that you join in and I'm so happy that you join in. I'm almost in tears because after <laughs> seeing you, <laughs> after seeing you off at the airport yesterday, it is very nice to see you now again. Yes. So um, I've, I'm taking this opportunity on behalf of Cloud Forum and asking you something. Um, so I think Mark uh, instigated something uh, earlier when you just started off and you were so excited. He, you know, this guy, Mark Bentley from Australia is really motivating and, you know, he's trying to get my coin price to $100. I know that how grateful you are to Mark uh, for, for pushing you in the initial days. My next question to you is that, uh, well, it really doesn't matter, but I'm just asking you because I think that is one of the motivating factors. When are you getting your coin price to $500? <laughs> That's a very tricky question. <laughs> the question is good, but it's a really tricky question. I'm sure it's going to touch uh, $500 uh, in 2022. Might not be 21 because of diesel going down, but yes, 22, we are there. Bang on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on a Zoom call, but okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Somebody said just trying to help me to move my baggage. Uh, thank you. No, no, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, In super. Our that was, <laughs> so, yes, uh, that was a fun uh, question, but the coin price doesn't really matter. Yes, what what matters is, is quality interaction, connecting with like-minded people across the world. I think that really uh, matters, yeah. Absolutely, yes. Thank you, Mark, for the opportunity. Thank you, Alex, for uh, uh, letting me quickly come in and ask her a question. Hey, my friend. Absolutely. Uh, well, Thanks welcome, for dropping man. in. Sorry? You're, you're Alex, you always go. welcome. Oh, sorry, Mark. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much. Yeah, bye, Bali. You're amazing. And look, I, I, I love what, because as you say, Zuby, price, the, the coin price doesn't yes. matter in, in that sense. But at the same time, I'm looking forward to seeing your coin price at 500 because oh, one thing yeah. that I love seeing is yeah. <laughs> things that are precious being authentically valued. And so is, this, is this an indirect challenge too? I, th I think your husband <laughs> sent this one and I'm backing it. <laughs> so bye, Bali. This is, I'm going to back your challenge on this one. <laughs> and everyone watching, if you want to invest in someone long-term that's going to actually, you know, really give value to the community, to the people, and will make you money. I mean, Zuby, you're one of my best investments. I have no intention of selling it now. It's like it's going to be sitting there. And then after talking to you today, you know, and I really hear more about you, your 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 caliber and just your your humanity and who you are and your genuineness. You are an incredibly valuable piece of human creation. So Vibali, you are a blessed man. You have an incredible wife. Zubi, I am, I am. I'm extremely lucky. Extremely lucky. And at the DSO is very, very blessed to have you, Zubi. And this is just the beginning. It is, so, yes. Thank you so much, Mark. Absolutely. So with that, I think that's a beautiful, romantic and sweet note to um, bring this conversation to an end. And Thank let's have you. another one very soon, hey? Because I think Zuby, oh, yes. there's going to be lots of updates. 
Yeah, yes, fantastic. Yes. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Ali. It was wonderful. Yeah. All the three men, my, my favorite white men on the same platform. Thank you. Thank you. You're an angel. Thank you so much, Alex. Bye, Bali. Travel well, brother. Better, bye, bye. <laughs> bye. Thank for you for me. having me. Oh, well, yes. I have a great time in, in uh, Dubai. I'll be thinking of you, Chief. Zubias, thank all you right. for the conversation and thank you for all you are doing for the community you for and your project thank and you, all sessions. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Bye bye. Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye. Take care. See you.